Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Just want to show you the standalone mode for the Lizard. Uh, I've already got the drive here uh, with the probe, or the Scorpion 2 connected. The SATA and power cables are connected. You can see, turn on the drive, the light comes on there. Um, let me show you the Lizard here. What I did was basically I just attached my battery pack so that the screw, uh, the switch is right here and the screw to exchange the batteries is open right here. That way, you know, you can slide this out, um, you know, put it right in the middle so your fingers are, you know, relatively easy to operate. The SATA cable here is still a little difficult to work around, but it does work. So, basically, I'm just going to show you complete standalone mode working um, no USB cable uh, that is right here and I don't have to plug that in so I will plug it in to show you some stuff on the computer here in a minute but um, let's go ahead and just turn on the lizard which is with this switch here Let me zoom it in good for you so I will hit the switch Let's see if I can get a better look on that. Okay. So we're going to go over to Light On Drive. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to go over to Read with Scorpion. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit Up. And then what we're going to do is since I've already got one there, I'm going to go here. Then I'm going to confirm it. I'm just going to basically just confirm all the way over till I get to the last digit. Then I hold down. Now turn the drive off. Then on. Then hit OK. Then I will connect the Scorpion to the pro the point. And then turn the drive off. Then on. And then hit OK. Then remove the probe. Then turn the drive off, then on. OK again. See it says successful. Then I'm going to hit OK to continue. It says data has been stored. We're going to zoom in to get a better look there. Hit OK. Um, then we need to go over to erase firmware. Hit OK. So the erase has been finished, we will hit OK. Then we're going to reset the drive. Hit OK. Looks like we're all good. Then we're going to go over to right. I'm sorry that this is getting so fuzzy. I don't know what's going on here. Then we're going to go to right. Oh, go to right. They're going to hit OK. Yep. And then it's going to ask you where you want to get your sword from. We're going to hit up. And then you know you can write a couple files here. I'm going to write the second one. But you can see the name of the file right here. Um, so we will go to. And it'll tell you when it's got free slots as well. So we will just hit OK. Now it says it's verifying. It says that it's all done right there. So then just hit OK. It says your key is validated. And basically that's it. When this little symbol right here is on, that means your SD card's in there. I, I think, anyway. Uh, but 
This is still in beta, so it's not released yet, so don't ask for it. Uh, now we're going to cut to the computer. Uh, I will have to plug in the USB just to show you, um, just to show you the, uh, what's it called, the key database that they have in there. Um, but yeah, let me pull this out. And you can see it's completely by itself, nothing but the battery pack connected. Um, I'll show you the key database and all that stuff with the uh, toolbox. So I'm going to go to that now. Oh, first let me turn this off. Just to, And it's off. Just like that. So let's go to the computer now, guys. Okay, guys, we're here on the computer. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable into the lizard. Uh, wait for it to come on and then I will get device details it's going to show me that it's running Gecko OS 1.10 um, and you'll notice there's a tab over here called sync I will click on that and then what you're going to do is go to load lizard slots right now it's reading from the lizard the light on the lizards flashing blue you'll notice that we have two slots here uh, for some reason the job name isn't coming up correct uh, but this is still beta so don't wig out too much about it um, the uh, key is correct because I just flashed the default firmware but it does look like you know um, there is a difference in showing from the first and the second one is the exact same drive but the uh, information doesn't show at the end of it uh, I'm not really sure why but it gives you all your information here that you need uh, I don't know what changes if anything it doesn't look like it other than this um, and then you can save to your computer or you can erase the slot so we'll just go ahead and erase the slot See, it's empty and now we've got the first one in there you can back up your slots to PC uh, and have them free after they're backed up you know just whatever you want to do um, but yeah Carolina Gamer this is the lizard standalone mode showing you the preview before it comes out I don't know the release date I cannot send it to you so don't ask it works I will say that it does I was going to do the 8 series v1 drive but that doesn't work yet so you have to use the probe and all that crap so uh, it does what it says it does it does work you need a battery pack um, you can also power it from you know one of the USBs in your car there's a tool that'll uh, switch the power configurations for you or something like that uh, but yeah Carolina Gamer out